Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. This is All Things Be Considered, where we discuss anything and everything as Michael Burry, the man who predicted the late 2000s housing market crash, is now making a series of short-selling bets because he is expecting an imminent stock market collapse. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on there. I said in a previous video that I was concerned that the fall of FTX would erode investor confidence in crypto to the point where this would navigate into other assets. Now, we haven't yet seen the contagion eat into the stock market, but can it happen? And can it happen soon? Okay, that's the question. That's the burning question. And Burry seems to think that it can. Now, he's got a number of short positions, which he talked about on Twitter. He has since deleted this tweet. In which, um, and, and he's, he's made his stock picks. Remember that this was the man who in the late 2000s believed that the housing market bubble would not go on forever. And if, if you watch, if you read the books about him and you watch the movie The Big Short, it talks about how everyone in the industry thought that he was just nuts. Everyone expected um, this th this industry, which was based on on securities, speculating on securities, speculating on securities, and doing so more and more and more. And everyone continued to make a, a bigger and bigger profit because people anticipated it would go on forever. Does it sound familiar? Does it not sound like SBF's, meta, you know, metaphorically, like SBF's concept of the box and, and the increasing market capitalization um, for no other reason that investors thought that, that the, this would become worth more just indefinitely. But Burry is anticipating, among other things, that the Fed is going to pivot this coming spring after the... Um, S&P and other indexes take heavy losses over the next few months. Scary, scary stuff. Because if the Fed does end up pivoting next spring, it's, um, it's going to be, again, for a bad reason. Because they and other central banks all over the world are determined to continue with the tightening and they're going to continue with the tightening as people have discussed on many other YouTube channels and in many mainstream media sources. The tightening is going to continue until there is significant economic strain. So if, if that pivot starts coming next spring, what the hell is going to happen between now and then? Keep your eye on what people like Burry are doing, especially if it appears to be contrary. And a disclaimer, that's not definite investment advice, but I think you know where this is, what direction this is heading. That's all for now. This is Trip from All Things Be Considered. See you next time.